just just get more comfortable, relax a little bit, uh, you know, some downtime for me, and I just come back and I'll be ready to work. People are gonna have to make plays and step up, and uh, some people are gonna have to get in the book more. And uh, I mean, just make plays. Uh, I mean, one play at a time, taking uh, each down and every down, and know just the, know your responsibility and do what you do best. Our base concepts. So we'll we'll get into Indiana a little bit, little bit obviously to get a uh, you know a head start on uh, really getting to know them and what they do. But uh, it's really big emphasis on our own stuff, kind of going back to a little bit of fall camp and making sure we have our base rules and you know, getting our eyes right and you know, our base stuff rather than more game specific stuff. How do you guys feel about your run defense through five games? I think it's been where where it needed to be for these couple games. Obviously there's just been there's been those big plays. You know, I mean if you take out Oregon, um, you know, which you can't just take out opponents, but if you take out Oregon we've been a pretty you know pretty top of the top of the league uh, run defense. But um, you know we have just like we have that game, we have you know one run in the Northwestern game, we have that big run in Illinois. Just those, you know, those little gaps that we need to clean up. And, you know, if we can just eliminate those, those big, big plays, which is completely doable, I mean, we're going to be top, you know, top, top of the line defense. Uh, I think uh, number one, we'll, we'll get tested more uh, against Indiana. Uh, you know, they, they they throw the ball up top quite a bit. They, they've got a good pass game. They're about 50-50. They have uh, three solid receivers, big tall quarterback, uh, and they're very well balanced. So, uh, you know, it's that balance uh, that'll get you, and then it's up to us during the course of the game to take that balance away. Because that's what we've been fortunate at, at uh, happening as games have progressed, is that it's turned into a passing game because of the fact that our offense has done such a great job as well. Uh, the pass game was not pleased at all with uh, the overall uh, pass defense because there were some things that we just looked absolutely foolish in that there was you know no reason to and it was it was a breakdown of technique more than anything and that's the that's the thing that's improved um, this year over over the last year that and then just understanding what we're trying to take away what the weaknesses are in the coverage and uh, and then you go on to the next track a little bit even going back to last year and the fact that once once Josh and um, Chris were our starting corners in our regular package. Uh, they, they brought a lot of credibility to the uh, pass coverage. Uh, and then, uh, you know, we played Jonathan Rose at the corner as well, and then Kalu went inside. So that, you know, it, it, it was just good from when we finally got the personnel squared away. We got our backers back and things like that. I, I think too, also towards the end, we started using a little bit more of the dime package, so our pressure. Uh, you know, it was a little bit better. Even if it was four-man pressure, you just didn't know where the fourth man was coming. You know, sometimes or who it was. And so, uh, you know, we, we've made progress. But again, the uh, the ultimate will be once we get to the end of the season and we look back, then we can revisit that same question.